I'm Keena Ritchie from Boise, Idaho with Willow House and today we're going to talk about how to turn your bathroom into that spa retreat that you need at the end of every day. If you have a bathroom where it just continually feels crazy, just a mess, you probably don't want to go in there. And when you do, it's probably not very relaxing. So let's take your average bathroom and turn it into something really special. We thought about what do we need in our bathroom? How do we use it? And then let's take those little nooks and make little vignettes that are really smart so we can best use the little bit of space that we have. When we did that, now we love our bathroom. Okay, let's go on into the spa bath and see what we have to work with. A little bit different than it was before. Let's show you what we've done in here. First thing we did was we took a little bit of molding and we added these little pieces in squares all around and gave it a little bit of a chair rail molding. Added a little chair rail like this. So you can see all the way around our bath we have some architectural elements that we added. We decided let's add a chocolate brown one with some really gorgeous tile and some silver little accent. Yeah. We decided, you know, let's get some bamboo kind of looking tile. Kind of give it a modern twist and add some nice little fixtures. And then it came time to accessorize. And adding accessories in your bath is such a fun way to make it your own. Okay, first of all, we took that big solid mirror that was here and we took it down and we added two individual mirrors with some nice dark frames. It added a little bit more interest to this wall and gave us our own little space. Between it, we were able to add this tray and this is just our Graymont Graymont party tray, but anytime you add a little stage like this to your countertop here, all of a sudden it can sort of corral all the little things that you want at your fingertips. We decided to take a piece to add a little bit of color to our neutral Willow House pieces because you can dress up your Willow House pieces to any theme and any color scheme by just adding a little pop of color. We added a little tray next to it so that at the end of the day we can take our jewelry and throw it down on here and it can wait for us for the next day kind of make sure that we don't put too much on there. Gives me just a small zone. A way to add color to your bath that's really easy is by having soap pumps that match your color scheme. There are certain things you need every single day and you could just throw them all over the countertop and it would be tempting to leave them there and have it be really chaotic. But instead, look what we did. I have down here in my drawer my Parisian luminary that has all of our toothbrush stuff in it. And I have our Ingleside luminary with all my makeup brushes. So when I'm getting ready in the morning I can just pull those out, use them, they're pretty, and then we put them back away afterwards. Now what's so great about having little luminaries like these, they come as a set of two. So we have one here and we have one in our bath um, to caddy your razors and those kinds of things. But the thing that's so great about these is when you have these in your home, when it comes time to do your beverage buffet for your parties, take these and fill these with all of your cups and all your straws in the other one and set them next to your beverage bar and all of a sudden it just feels so much classier than just having cups sitting out flat on the table. These are also really great to add candlelight along your walkway on the way in, so you may want to get four or five sets of these because I'm telling you, you will find nooks and crannies for these everywhere. These live in my son's bathroom downstairs, and he has a target for his toothpaste, and it gets back in the target every time. Don't you love that? A lot of women in America struggle with what to do with that area over your stool because it's usually a big blank wall and a place where a lot of organizing can take place and you can add some interesting beauty to your world, but if you don't. So we decided, you know, let's just add a little shelf here. So we took two brackets and we added these down below here, painted them the same color as the wall so they kind of disappear and just slid a little shelf in here. And then on that shelf we were able to take our two-tiered Galveston stand which is gorgeous for serving appetizers and things by adding trays here, but it comes with these beveled glass 
pieces. So you can use this in your bathroom. It adds a little glisten and glimmer, which, you know, ladies, we like our bathroom to have a little bit of glamour to it. So go ahead and tuck that in here. Tuck in your unwind aromatherapy things that you don't want your kids to use because these are just for you. Tuck in your pretty washcloths, your jewelry, you know, adding a little bit of color again is really helpful. And then we added over here our Nautilus face with a candle in it because candlelight always makes you relax at the end of the day. Have our little petite lidded piece here that we can tuck in because anytime you can add a lid, you can fill it with whatever you want. Nobody has to know it's a mess in there. So when you walk in, you have this lovely little vignette greeting you. It's so pretty. It uses this dead space and makes your bathroom have some really pretty accents and more storage space. Don't you love that? Let's take this little nook and let's make it really purposeful for what we need it by the bath. When I'm relaxing, that's when some of my best ideas come to me. So I took the Nautilus vase and I just tucked in some pens and some notebooks so that in case I need to jot something down, I can get that off my mind and then just relax. Decided, wouldn't it be nice if you had a really pretty way to have bath salts and stuff incorporated? So we got our Sutton vanity set. The other piece is over there above the stool for my jewelry. This is the other piece and I fill it with the yummiest bath salts and have a little scoop handy. So all I have to do is sprinkle it into my bath. We added a little bit of ambiance here, our Coronado stone pedestal, and this base just feels so beachy and spa. But the thing that's really great is this has a flat bottom here, so that if you ever needed to use this for flowers, with for water, for any kind of dip, for any kind of chips, anything on your buffet you could, but when it's not... And what else do we need? Either some reading material or some um, relaxation music. So what I brought in here is our our convertible French wire basket, tucked in a little plant, because again, plants always feel very spa-like, and my magazines and a few wash. So why do we have the second tier here? Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes late at night, I'd like to watch a show. So I grab my iPad, and I pull this out, and I sit over here, and I set up my little iPad. But when you're done, you don't want this out here, so having it be a nesting table is so convenient handy. Just tuck it back under there, out of the way, and you have a new zone of space here to work in. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes it's really nice in your shower to have some things really, really handy, but sometimes you have a tile shower backsplash and there's no way to really hang things on it. So what we came up with was an idea to take our farmhouse tiered basket and mount a hook up above where the tile ends and hang it with a ribbon so that you could have all of those bath wash things real handy right at your fingertips. What we love this for though is at a moment's notice you can pull this off your wall, take it out to your buffet, Fill your plates, napkins, forks, knives, spoons in the bottom, and all your condiments in the top. We use this at our tailgate parties all the time, and it's super handy. And we also have this down in our office. This piece, you could probably have four of them. My kids even took one to put all their Wii remotes in the top and all their games in the bottom, and it hangs out down by their gaming system. Hooked on the wall, so, so pretty. So are you feeling inspired? You can turn your bathroom into a spa that will absolutely fill you up and become your retreat. I'm Keena Ritchie, and until next time, here's wishing you simply good design in your home.